Yankees fans, I'm not even going to do my intro. This has been one of the most pathetic showings that I have ever seen overall from the Yankees fan base, the Yankees, and their coaching staff. I am making this video early because the Red Sox are up 10-1. to 1, And I am making it specifically to lay it all out. Yankees influencers or Yankees commentators online who have pretty much big followings. What are you guys doing? You had about two days just because the Yankees won. But hey, if it doesn't fit your narrative, you're not going to talk about it, right? You had two days to outline many things that the Red Sox were doing to the Yankees. Gary Sanchez, to be specific. Running on the Yankees, stealing bases, bunting. You guys didn't talk about it because the Yankees won that game, right? And they almost won game one. But no, let's not talk about it. Let's talk about Felix and let's send a whole bunch of our subscribers over to his channel because I don't agree with what he said that I am motivating the troops. Me, what I try to do, I try to rally the troops, make a issue go viral, get into the Red Sox head, but other people did not pick up on it because other t people are too concerned about what other people think about them. They're too concerned about, oh, am I going to lose subscribers? That, this was a pathetic showing overall by the Yankees fan base, the Yankees overall, and the Yankees coaching staff, like I said. You do not allow Cora to continuously steal bases when they're up 10 to 1 originally steal bases bunt to get it to be 10 to 1 and not let's say plunk a batter not open your mouth because the yankees have been treated like dogs gary sanchez was a perfect example but he's gary sanchez right people secretly hate him let's not go up to bat for gary sanchez just forget about him well now as a fan base most people are going to pay the piper because they didn't open their mouths. And us, we have a responsibility to create what people are talking about. You see it all the time. We have the power to do so. So in my opinion, this has been a weak, pathetic showing from all the people that have a responsibility to open their mouths. If they don't see Aaron Boone or these mainstream media radio heads talking about it. We have the power to make things an issue. Everybody was MIA because they were too busy being triggered. They were too busy identifying with identity politics and making it about, oh, I don't agree with Felix. Let me just say his name 10 times and send all my subscribers over to his channel to leave me a whole bunch of hate comments. Not even my worst enemies would do that to me. I've never mentioned anybody's name because that's not my style. But now you guys all see what some people are concerned about. Also, what was Serrano doing starting this game? Originally, it was advertised that CC would start this game. I had everything lined up. Uh, I thought CC would start this game. It made absolutely zero sense to start Serrano. Especially when he pitched Wednesday. You got players on the Red Sox demanding that Yankees players step in the effing box. You got Cora bunting. You got Cora stealing when they're up 10 to 1. How many insults are the Yankees going to take when, in my opinion, in this instance, this Yankees fan base is the weakest I've seen ever? Ever. It's pathetic how weak this fan base is. How pathetic Boone has allowed Cora to make him look like such a fool that I have to make videos and trigger everybody because, oh, that guy's the same color as me. So whatever you say, Felix, is wrong. Get the hell out of here. You think I care about subscribers? I'm here to tell the truth, to help the Yankees win in some sort of way, make things viral if I can. But you all saw it was me by myself that instance. Nobody picked up the Yankees. Nobody talked about how the Yankees, some of their players were treated. 
by the Red Sox and are being insulted yet again. Cora stealing bases up 10 to 1 and nobody's saying nothing. Nobody's doing anything. Pathetic showing by the Yankees fan base. Pick it up. This series is still in reach. But today, tonight was pathetic. Pathetic baseball. One of the worst starts I've ever seen to a playoff game. The way the other team's managers just being disrespectful and nothing is being said or done. It's pathetic. 